this is not good. No. Hair! How embarrassing. Where's my hat? Where? Ed? Eddie? Alexandra? Oh, Lord. We've been disbanded. Where has everyone gone? Don't make me use this. Double D yet, boy? Your hat sock has gone missing. Ah! Oh, my apologies, Rolf. I didn't see you behind those trees. I barely recognized you with the, um, ponytail. Rolf will say likewise, Hatley said, boy. Is this untidy do, the secret under that sock of yours? Not exactly. If we were still in Peach Creek, that theory would stand. Also, I'm not the only one who has experienced some degree of change while here. Hmm. What should have taken years to grow has grown almost four feet in an instant. Are we being stalked? I don't believe so. It could be one of the others. Run, Rolf! It's found our scent, and we've become its prey! Do you not have a weapon that is not your big brain, Ed boy? Weapon? What? My sword! I dropped it during our fight! No time! We'll flee far from this creature! <laughs> we've hit a dead end! <laughs> end of the road, boys! You should have known it was me. Eddie? You didn't see the horns you made, Double D, did you? Well, I got a real good look at you sissies as you ran. You'll see what the Rolf sees, yes. I'm glad to see you, Eddie, but I can't help but notice. Oh, that? That cardboard he used to make it is really sturdy. Hey! You have five seconds to let go! Rolf is aware. This is no cardboard, Ed boy. Nor is it string like the son of a shepherd believe. Don't touch my tail! <laughs> Away, you fool! Rolf cares not about your tail, for you have become a glowing bug! Is this your identity, Ed boy? That is Eddie Rolf. Just like us, some of his attributes have been completely altered. He was wearing the joy buzzer before any of this happened. And that has become a power of sorts. That would never be a possibility if we had remained in Peach Creek. Look here, Sherlock. The buzzer is a gag. I used it to shock Jimmy. Did it look like I was going to electrocute Rolf? Open your pointy ears, Ed Bully. The shiny one believes we are in a world that is different from our cul-de-sac. And Rolf agrees with this. Rolf also suspects the others have suffered as well. While it is likely, we need to find them to make that determination. They may be just as lucky as the two of us. Maybe. Quit stalling! Eddie! You want to find them, don't you? I'm betting on finding Ed first. It'd go a lot faster if you two would hurry up! Can you not see Rolf's exhaustion, Ed Boy? Rolf? Are you okay? Did you sprain your shoulder during the exchange with... Why is he acting like an ignoroid? Rolf may have injured his shoulder while drawing his sword. I see why he is concealing his pain, but his efforts are damaging his well-being. Rolf. Can you hear me? Eddie! My reaction was unfair to you. And for that, I want you to forgive me. No. Forgive the Rolf. These words should have been made in a sweeter form. But we are in Peach Creek no longer. I know. And Rolf? Yes, Shy Eyes. I am patient. And your apology is enough. 
goodness! As Zeke has become the mythical naiad Rolf is lauded. Naid? Is he talking about that stupid nightmare you had a long time ago? Yes, said Bug. And Rolf has been named guardian of the no gender means, no less. Oh, I get it. Is that why you've been hogging him this whole time? If I may interject, I'm quite surprised to see how well you've taken to this change. That is, I hope the, um, transformation was relatively painless. Well, I don't remember how I changed Double D, but I do remember falling. Yawn! Remembering's just gonna take us longer. At least Rolf can remember where he got that stupid tattoo. This is no tattoo will be a bumblehead, boy. It looks like Eddie's impatience is still intact. Shall we follow? The two Ed boys have made a hasty retreat. I see that. Kevin might have done the same when he found the journal you gave me. Help! Hello? Is anyone out there? Eddie, is that you? Hey, Eddie! Up here! In the tree! Hanging out is killing my back! Not again. Stuck in the tree again, Johnny boy? Well, I'll get you down if- What the heck? Holy cow, I'm a mutant! <laughs> I thought I was gonna be stuck up there forever! Blank went to go find help about five minutes ago, I think. Wait until he gets back here and sees! I'm not doing this again, Baldy! Tell me which tree that board's hiding behind or you're getting zapped! I promise you, Eddie. He's standing right there. <clears throat> That's it. Come here so I can see if you're really that chunk of termite food. Eddie, stop! He might look real big and scary, but I know it's blank. He was just making sure I was okay. He wouldn't hurt anyone. Right, buddy? Hurting the kid over an overreaction is pretty pointless, Johnny. Uh... I know what I heard, but I don't remember you ever speaking, Blake. You don't? Ah! I wasn't lying about anything Blake ever said. If he actually talks, then why couldn't we ever hear the guy? We speak oak. No provisions could have prepared us for this one, Eddie. Our home and this place are separated by dimension at best. So? Well, I'm not optimistic about a quick return. Hey! You look so cute when you're mad. How about I light my little candle so we can see each other? Looks like he's seen enough. Out of all people! Shouldn't you go find your sisters or something? Pipe down, I was looking for them. I just found you first. I'm oh, still so playing. You find Mark Big Bird? Where's oh, here? I don't How come you won't help? Shouldn't they just avoid each other? You'd think that, but I think they go together, pal. Sorry about that. The squawking won't solve a thing as long as we... see you there. I was admiring my robot waifu and enjoying a pecan sandy. That, unfortunately, is how a reset ends. Uh, as you can see by the max, the end of the world has happened. It is currently August of 2020. Um, and the last reset page was several months ago now, I believe in April. Um, and this comic has been going on for a long time, so... In my estimation, we are very far away from the ending of this comic. If you are a fan, ironic or unironic, of Dark and Sparrow's work, or really Ed and Eddie fan comics in general, I encourage you to go to Dark and Sparrow's Kofi. The link is here. Well, in the description, you can't click on this. Um, you can go there, give her 
some of your money, so if you have the means, unless your economy for your personal life has been ruined, which most, most people has. But as you can see, um, I will not be able to do any more of the reading of this comic because it is not done. So if y'all want me to read more, we need more material. But really, just give Dark and Sparrow all of your support. I'm sure they would appreciate that. Um, in the meantime, I will continue making my own stuff that won't necessarily be at a Netty fan comic readings. But I really appreciate all of y'all's support. Thank you!